So, John Carpenter's Halloween tells the story of an escaped mental patient who 15 years ago brutally murdered his sister, returns home, starts babysitters, and then murders them. And this is one of my all-time favorite horror movies. I am definitely one of the people who thought this was boring. It's like, okay, what's going to kill me? He's doing nothing. Well, I thought about Michael just stalking most of the movies because what made it scary was because no matter where Lori and her friends went, Michael knew where they were. Because that's what the scariest part is. Sometimes when a serial killer is stalking you, they will know where you go, which is creepy. It's scary to think about knowing that. That's why I thought it was scary about the movie. I just want to get this out of the way. Hit it! You can never beat the classic Halloween theme music. Never. That's definitely a positive for this movie. Two more positives are, well, one's the acting, which I thought was outstanding. Everyone in this movie was an amazing actor, especially from two certain people. Jamie Lee Curtis, who I'm pretty sure this was her first movie role, and the almighty Donald Pleasance playing the role of Dr. Sam Loomis, Michael Myers' psychiatrist. Trust me, PJ Souls, amazing actress, I will call her by her stage name, Nancy Loomis, amazing actress. And all the acting in here was amazing. John Carpenter, the only, uh, really good director, one of my favorites. Directed a classic for, this is a classic for a reason. The way it was made. So I like slow pacing movies. It's just, I just always like slow pacing movies, to be honest. I, I like, the thing I like about this movie is, it doesn't just go straight into the killing. It makes us get, it allows us to get used to the characters. Which I do want in my horror movies, is getting used to the characters. I'm like the nun. Seriously, this movie is great. I do recommend you guys seeing this if you haven't already. Donald Pleasance plays and does an amazing role, and I'm going to show you a clip of his monologue, which I thought was a great scene. Here it is. I spent eight years trying to reach him, and then another seven trying to keep him locked up because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. Donald Pleasance was actually not originally supposed to play this, um, play this character. But a couple of other people who were in mind to play the role turned it down. And so the role went to Donald Pleasance, which I am happy with because he's one of the few things you remember from this franchise from 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6, which was his actual last movie ever in life. Which, rest in peace, Donald Pleasance. The thing that makes this movie work oh, The Mask. I do gotta recommend The Mask in this movie. The Mask was amazing. It was just a willing shot in the mask where they got the eyebrows, spake. Spread painted a little bit wide, messed up the hair, and it looked great. Throughout the series, the masks tend to get a little eh, but this is the original mask, which I, I like. So, with the amazing acting, the slow pacing, the stalkery type feel that you get knowing that that could happen to you in real life, I will give Halloween. Well, before I give my rating, I want to get talk about the kills. I mean, people are going to agree, but I thought the kills were just a little bit silly. Uh, here's Nancy's death. <laughs> what the heck was that face? Here's Bob's death, with Bob's death which was impossible. Seriously, how night didn't go through him all the way. He couldn't be stuck to that wall. But that's about it, to be honest. Those are the only silly ones. Because Michael just straight up strangled PJ souls with the phone cord. Which could actually happen. But without 
with that mind of uh, negative of mine, I will give Halloween, well, John Carpenter's Halloween is, is ah, as it's normally called, four stars out of five. Join me, maybe today, maybe, or tomorrow, as I review Halloween 2, more of the night he came home. Till then, I'll see you guys later.